We all know that South Africa is still reeling from the effects of apartheid. There are quite a number of issues that remain outstanding. We may have regained independence, political independence, but there is a sense in which there are those who are dissatisfied with the land question, which as someone said, and I agree with them, is the last colonial question. It is the truth that that particular issue has not been resolved and that too much land still remains in the hands of the whites. And it is the view of many, including myself, that until and unless the question of land is resolved, the ghosts of apartheid will continue to dance their macabre dance and the issues in South Africa will not be settled. It is understandable, therefore, that EFF, particularly as a political party, has been in the forefront of advocating for the resolution of the land question. The other issue that I believe will be on the table is the economic situation. Many people still feel left out, that they are not enjoying the dividends that they were promised when in 1984, apartheid was destroyed, at least in its much more visible forms. And one hopes that that is something that is going to be on the table when the voters are casting their votes today on the 29th day of May. Our brothers and sisters in South Africa will cast their vote today, the 29th day of May, the year 2024. It is a momentous occasion because we know that once again, the South Africans have an opportunity to express their views through the ballot to determine which political party will govern South Africa. It is a unique voting system that is not common in many African countries. Not common because primacy is given to the political party so that the voter votes for the African National Congress or for EFF or for Mkonto, Sizwe, the new kid in the block or for DA or other political parties. What is significant is that the party that gains the majority of the votes then deploys those who will be the members of parliament and those who will serve in other capacities and also deploys the persons who will serve as the president and the deputy president. The model has its advantages in that it gives strength to the political party and one hopes that this time round, the South African will express their views in a manner that is beneficial to the people of South Africa. We all know that South Africa is still reeling from the effects of apartheid. There are quite a number of issues that remain outstanding. We may have regained independence, political independence, but there is a sense in which there are those who are dissatisfied with the land question. Our brothers and sisters in South Africa will cast their vote today, the 29th day of May, the year 2024.